All right, guys, today we're going to talk about my top scouting survival knives. Now, when we get into this, what do I mean exactly by a scout survival knife? A few things. So typically when it comes to scouting, you are exploring new areas, finding new air, like resources to potentially, you know, capture, take, or, you know, even new areas to just explore in general. So this is almost more like adventuring, exploring type um, mindset. But what I mean by a survival knife, of course, survival knives imply wilderness living and, you know, hopefully for a brief period of time, a time of self-sufficiency. So when it comes to survival and scouting, it's essentially knives that are very easy to carry into the field and are multi-role capable. And in addition to that, to what I kind of think of when I think of a scouting styled knife, I think of the scout carry, the scout style carry. And for those who don't know, or for those uninitiated, scout style carry is essentially where you carry your knife horizontal to your, um, your belt essentially i guess so it runs along the same track as your belt it most people think of a vertical carry and there are some knives like many of the tops knives that have these kind of twisty spring metal clips that can twist in a 360 degree um, you know range of motion and so they can be scout style carried um, other knives are more purpose dedicated to that so things like my ak 6.5 here has you know um, clips that are specifically designed to run horizontal um, or vertical to the sheath i guess i should say like horizontal i guess to the sheath but you'd carry it horizontally as well so um you know you have some knives that are set up specifically for this and then you have other knives that can be rigged up in this fashion this right here is my srk and i do not have it set up in this configuration but in previous srks i've attached uh, belt loops that made this run scout style and then of course like i said there are other dedicated styles and setups some of them use two contact points those are my preferred some use one contact point so long as they can go uh, horizontal as opposed to vertical that is kind of what we're looking for now also should be noted most of these can additionally be ran vertical should the need arise but some of the reasons why you might want a scout styled knife or scout carry knife is if you are doing things like running a chest rig where um, you know you have a handgun on your chest or you have like a plate carrier some form of Thing on your chest that allows you to not be able to neck carry a knife and other reasons you might want this is for different forms or functions of carrying your knife if you are going prone if you are crawling if you are um, kneeling down a lot scout style carry tends to be a little bit less obtrusive because you don't have that knife dragging on the ground you don't have it um, interfering with you in an unnatural way because as some people note um, when you're standing up and it's just a standing you know vertical way if you have this belt carried um, this is going to just hang down to your side but if you kneel down the gravity of the knife is still going to be like this or like this so it leads to either this weird kind of amalgamation where your knife isn't quite really with you so in a scout style carry it's very closely retained to your body and it is going to move with you so not always is this like the best possible means of carry there are of course other means of carry but there this is a valid one and I really do um, enjoy scout style carry so without any further ado let's actually just jump into these darn knives so first off as I've kind of shown some of them we're going to just throw the SRK and CPM 3B in here this is just a fantastic pretty much catch-all knife you guys will see this knife in a lot of my discussion videos because it's just really that it's a catch-all knife that is good at basically doing anything and everything and like I've mentioned this knife of course has a configurable sheath it does not come from factory scout style but as I've shown with my previous uh, SK5 SRK you absolutely can rig belt loops to this using all of these grommets and um, you can make uh, you can make a scout style carry knife with this so totally feasible of course this does also go for the master hunter but the master hunter is a little small for strict survival purposes in my opinion now a couple other honorable mentions are going to be the tops fieldcraft and the tops bracamo now i'm showing these guys side by side because they have the same basic sheath system now my tops fieldcraft is a little bit more old school so the kydex is just a little bit different than their more new school ways but um yeah so this is essentially they're still the same capacity now i have removed my belt clip on this one because i run this as i've shown in other videos 
on my Fjell Raven Vita Pro pants. So I actually have this one set up for a little bit of a different style of carry. Um, so yeah, this one is definitely just a little bit different but essentially it's the same kind of premise to this. So it comes with the same spring steel clip on it. And these I have effectively ran um, scout style. So I, like I said, I do typically like two points of contact over one, but if you do it right and you rig this to the right spot in your body, like it's having sometimes that singular point of contact actually does work better. So those two are pretty good. Once again, you're looking at about a near 10 inch overall length for both of them. So they're gonna be what I consider compact survival knives but they are still decent choices now the next one up is the ak knives or architect knives ak 6.5 this one is once again another one that is multi-mission configurable you can run this you know hor or vertical you can run it in a traditional style setup this one is however set up for horizontal carry or scout style carry as you guys can see here with these clips and this one is actually set up for what i would consider small of the back carry and that is typically how i run my larger um, knives so if i'm going to run scout style on a larger knife typically speaking this isn't like a hard and fast rule but typically speaking i will run it in a small of the back carry because typically when it comes to your whole setup when it comes to survival stuff survival kits um, having a larger knife just takes a lot of real estate up on the front of your body. So I should also note, typically when I scout style carry, it's either going to be around the appendix, so it's gonna be in front of me, um, directly in front of me, and that's how most of these knives are set up to run. But if they are larger knives, I usually run them small at the back. So this is going to be behind me, and that's why the clips are facing you guys as opposed to facing me. So once again, as a note, you can see that front, um, front of the body would be something like this where the clip is not facing you small of the back would be facing you so it's once again something that's personal preference but that is um the way that i typically run larger knives now other ones that i would also run as scout uh, survival knives or recommend so other knives I would recommend for this setup is the Strike Force 2 by Bark River Knives. The, that is this guy here. Once again, you're getting a larger styled knife. Now this one has uh, an actual front styled carry um, to it. So the way that it is set up would be more indicative of carry in the front. But technically speaking, this one could go either way because the straps go in front and latch around. So I don't know, this one you can actually technically with this style run it either way, but uh, this one's gonna be really more oriented towards the back. So, you know, once again, uh, different strokes for different folks, but the um, Bark River Knives Strike Force 2 is going to be pretty much a, a solid knife it's gonna be bigger and it's definitely going to hold its own for survival tasks now it is worth noting typically speaking when it comes to scouting um, you're going to be running a more compact or at least less less tools than you would typically carry in a more traditional bushcrafting um, adventure so having you know a larger or at least more well-rounded knife is important now the last one up on this list is going to be the bark river knives cup once again this is a very similar this is a slightly older style of this sheath so you can see that this is the more modern up-to-date style and it definitely improves on a lot of the issues that this initial sheath has but this is the same style of sheath once again because it's a little bit more compact this one's definitely set up for front style so you'd carry it you know around your appendix or front of your body carry so yeah this one's definitely going to be a little bit more compact but still totally capable it is a great knife so that is the bark river knives cub the baby version of the grizzly but yeah so that's kind of for me my top five picks for scouting styled survival knives when it comes to it are they all survival knives at the end of the day? Yes, you can use these for any survival situation, event, any type of preparedness. It's just these ones are a little bit more apt to being, you know, ran as independent knives without, you know, a saw, without an ax, um, or maybe just a, you know, pocket saw and one of these knives will be able to do a lot of your wilderness necessities should you have to get down to survival like starting fires building shelters field expedient shelters um, these knives are going to be able to do that very well so 
And that's kind of where we're coming at from the angle. And then of course, like I said, the last qualifier for a scout style knife is that I really do prefer having it um, be able to be a horizontal draw, horizontal carry, because sometimes that is the better or superior way to making things work. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you enjoyed taking a look at these knives. As always, guys, God bless, and I'm out.